Well, good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. Man, I've survived the blizzard of Texas all-time history, I guess. I've never remember weather like this. We didn't have any broken pipes in the house. I had a couple of faucets outside that burst, but my neighbor fixed them. So all is well. And I had promised y'all on uh, Thursday that today we were uh, going to have a really good soup. So I haven't made it before, but my friends made it twice, and her daughter-in-law's made it numerous times. So we're going to see if they're telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now the original recipe is to be made in a crock pot. And um, if you do that, I'll tell you before the video's over how to do it in the crock pot. But I'm going to do it on the stove because I don't have four or six hours to wait for it to cook. So what the beginning of the recipe, you put your, if you're using a crock pot, you put your carrots and celery, your chicken, water, and uh, chicken broth and a box of rice aroni, long grain, and wild rice with the seasoning packet in to cook. And on the crock pot you cook that four hours on high, six hours on low. Then you lift your chicken out, and it called for two breasts. I'm using three or four thighs. Um, and I'm using bone in because I like that extra flavor. But you lift your chicken out and take the skin off if you're using it with skin on it and shred it and put it back into the pot. Then we're going to make a roux with flour, salt, and pepper, and brown that just a little bit and add a couple, I think it's two cups of half and half, and slowly stir that into our soup that we've already made, and it's supposed to be just a rich, filling, hearty, delicious soup. So I've got my, I didn't have any broth that I wanted to use, so I made my, making my own broth using Better Than Bouillon. So I have my chicken and my bouillon and my water in the pot already and I'm just going to uh, turn the fire on and let my bouillon dissolve and then I'm going to add my vegetables and my rice in and I'm going to let that cook about 40 minutes until I feel like my chicken is done after it comes up to a boil about 40 minutes. I'll check my chicken and if it's done then I'll uh, take it out and shred it and we'll get the rest of it made. So let me get this uh, bouillon dissolved that's in here and then I'll bring you back and we'll add everything else to the pot. Okay, I've got my chicken in with my uh, bouillon or my broth because I made broth using the bouillon and the water. And um, I'm going to go ahead and add a cup of chopped celery and I had a little bit of the greens, and I like the celery greens, a lot of flavor in them. So a cup of the celery, and then it calls for a cup of carrots that's been grated. So I cheated today, and I bought the carrot sticks to use. And then you add one box of rice aroni and the seasoning packet. And this is the wild rice and wild grain and shoot long grain and wild rice let me get this open and we'll put the seasoning packet in well I don't think it all came out Let me just kind of stir. This is going to give the soup a great flavor to let everything cook along with the chicken. Makes a big difference when you cook your meat from raw to done with all of your vegetables in there too. It just flavors everything so well. Okay, I'm just going to let this come up to a boil and then just simmer it until my chicken's done, which should take about 40 minutes. And I'll check it and see if it's uh, tender enough that we can shred it. And I'll dip my chicken out and get it back in there and we'll make the roux and we'll have our soup finished and I'm ready to have some. It's still cold here. Today it's getting up in the 40s and that's the warmest that it's been in seems like forever. So I'm anxious for spring but I just saw on, um, I think it was Facebook, the man that always gets our weather right. He says in a couple of weeks we're going to have another round of it, but maybe not quite as bad, so we'll see. 
But anyway, I'll be back in a minute and show y'all some more about this soup because I'm anxious to finish it and taste it so I can see if they're telling the whole truth. Okay, my soup has come up to a boil, so I'm just going to cook it about 40 minutes because I've got big thighs with the bone in and I'm let them cook until they're done and I can shred them. And then I'll, I'll to bring you back when I'm taking the chicken out and getting it shredded. Then we'll make our roux and get our half and half in and make a good creamy, hearty soup. Okay, the soup doesn't have, the meat doesn't have very much longer to cook. So I'm going to start melting my butter. It's a half a stick of butter. And we're going to put a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper in that. And one half cup of flour and make us a roux. And then we will slowly whisk in two cups of half and half to make us a smooth thickener. And then we'll add that to this after we shred our chicken and put it back in there. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in my salt and pepper while the butter's melting. And I'll add in my one half cup of flour and I fluffed it up in the canister before I measured it out. And then I even the top off. So I'll go ahead and get this whisk smooth and let it get to a just light brown and then we will add our half and half. By the same method you can make cream gravy folks if you need to know how to make gravy. <clears throat> it makes a really good just cream gravy. You want to do this like on a medium to a medium low because you don't want it all of a sudden to just burn on you. You want it to be the right color. But you want your flour cooked. It tastes pasty. I don't know how to describe the taste, but you have to have that flour cooked or it doesn't taste right. My chicken isn't quite as tender as I want it, so I'm going to let it simmer a little bit longer and then we'll get it all mixed up. Just a heads up. Okay, y'all, can you see that the butter is kind of starting to brown and the flour? So I'm going to go ahead and add my half and half, just a little at a time, and whisk it in. Just keep whisking it because you don't want a bunch of lumps in it. Make sure you go all around and get it all incorporated really well. Now see, this is exactly what you put on a chicken fried steak or your country biscuits. It's just cream gravy is what this is, but it'll certainly make that soup creamy and good <clears throat> and act as a thickening agent for the juice that's in it. The rule of thumb, <clears throat> excuse me, is equal parts oil or butter and your flour when you're making a gravy. Now if you wanted it thinner, you could certainly add some more half and half and thin it down some. <clears throat> but I need this to just um, put in here when I get the chicken out and get it shredded. So. I'm going to cook this a little bit, keep stirring it because I don't, see how it's moving around in this pan? This is a scan pan, nothing sticks in it. I absolutely love it. I bought mine at Sir La Tab, and I'll give them a plug. Right now they have a lot of them on sale 50% off. So just if y'all are looking for one of them or interested, you might go to SirLaTab.com and look at it. I got a notice in the mail today about it. That's how I bought all of mine when they were on a good special. I'd get me one. And then, well, I got most of mine while I was working there. Y'all, I forgot to show you when I was pouring my 
thickening mix in here, but I just dumped it in here and whisked it till it was smooth. And I took my chicken off the bone, and uh, I didn't actually shred it. I just cut it in pieces to where we would get a little bit of piece hunks of chicken in our plate. This looks like cream of chicken soup, but it's all made from scratch. So I'm going to let it cook just a minute or two to let all the flavors blend. Then we'll taste of it. Y'all, this is some of the best soup I ever had in my life. It tastes like rich cream of chicken um, broth. I don't know. She definitely told the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're going to want to put this in your, maybe even through the winter, your weekly ro uh, recipe rotation. Now, it's hot as blazes, and I'm not burning my mouth because I done got a bite of it. But I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and then I'm going to take me another bite. I'm going to give y'all while this is cooling. A quick little update. Troy got to come home yesterday. Uh, the committee has not met yet for approval or disapproval of his transplant due to the weather that we've had. Probably this coming Tuesday they will meet and then we should get notification if he has been approved to be on the list or not. And sometimes I'm going to give you all an update in our community tab. That didn't go out to everybody if you're, you know, if you're a subscriber. Check the community tab and see if there's any updates. Sometimes if my internet's bad and I haven't been able to do a video, I'll post a, you know, something there. So y'all can check the community tab. You can comment. But um, just that's just what's going on right now. We're still waiting. Okay, let me see what this tastes like. Y'all just follow the recipe to a T. Make it either in the crock pot if you do it in the crock pot, you're going to do it four hours on high, six hours on low. Take your chicken out and shred it because it says boneless breast. And put your chicken back in and make your roux with your flour, salt, and pepper and half and half. Put it in there to thicken the juice and let me just tell you, that is delicious. You know how that good thick juice on chicken and dumplings is? That is just as delicious. So I want y'all to try this one. And then uh, comment and let me know what you think about it. And as uh, far as I know, I'll be back here in a day or two with another video. If we get a phone call and I have to leave, I will put a message in the community tab and you'll know what's going on. But even when Troy has his uh, transplant, I won't be able to stay with him, so I will be home. Down there as much as they'll let me, but it's not going to be a whole lot. So I'll still be able to put videos up, but I won't promise three a week during that time. But I'll make sure y'all see me and get to listen to me rattle and visit a little bit. I'm so thankful. It's, it got up to like 44 degrees today. I feel like the, the heat, I feel like a heat wave has come. But tonight it's going to be like 23 again. And then we're going to warm up. But then maybe in two weeks we might get some more of it. Who knows? Anyhow. I'm going to get some of this soup dished up for Troy and Richard's here to help do whatever needs to be done. And Josh is here, my little adopted boy from the, behind us. He's the one that he and his dad fixed my water hydrant that broke. And he kept the porch stocked with firewood. So he's just a treasure. He's like family. Those two have been friends since they were three years old. So we're blessed to have good neighbors. Um, thank you, Cindy and Angie, for the recipe. Y'all told the truth. It's delicious, and we'll definitely have this again at my house. It's a lot quicker if you do it on the stove. Easy to do in the crock pot if you're going to be gone, and, you know, just all you got to do is make the roux and put it in there once you get home from work or whatever. Good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'll see you again in a day or two.